Are you struggling to get better at your trading? If so, in this video, I'm gonna give you a strategy to help you get back on track. And so for those of you that do trade the squeeze, we're gonna figure out what's the best way to do that. You'll notice down here, you've got green, you've got black, you've got red, and you even have orange dots that pop up. And each one of those dots represent different things. For example, I call it a low compression squeeze, mid compression squeeze, things like that. But whenever it's in a squeeze, that means that volatility is contracting. The stock is setting up for its next big move. If you're going to be trading the squeeze in a volatile market, there's a high probability that you're going to be getting faked out. Does that make sense? And so what we want to do is, for example, let's go to BABA. We want to start off and we want to look at the month. We want to know what are the monthly traders doing. Because if we can align ourselves as best as possible with who's in control on the higher time frames, that's gonna make all the difference in the world for us. So here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna to go to the month and I'm gonna look at BABA. Now, I do what's called my higher time frame bias. On the month, there are institutions or banks that trade based on the monthly chart. Understand this, they are the most dominant players in the game. Does that make sense? And so the month, those traders are stronger than the week. The weekly traders are stronger than the day. So what I wanna do is I wanna go to the month. Now I'm gonna utilize this indicator right down here at the bottom. It's the Forecast Pro. You guys know I do a lot of videos on the Forecast Pro, but this is the market forecast on TD Ameritrade, but it's to the next level. And so what I've got here is I want to utilize this indicator to let me know which, you know, which groups in control on the month. Because if the market's volatile, all we can do is stack the odds in our favor. Wouldn't you agree? So right here, I can see that we are bearish strong. We're strongly bearish based on this indicator that I teach down here. So that's what I want to know. What's going on on the month? Recognize who's in control, right? What phase we're in, sellers or buyers? Go to the week, who's in control, sellers or buyers? And then those two together, when they're both aligned, you have permission. So if they're both in line, that means you're trading in line with the higher time frame traders. Because again, when a market's volatile, all we can do is stack the odds in our favor. Again, does that make since so this sticker is going to tell me it's going to take both of those time frames together and it's going to tell me we're bearish all right so then what we want to do is now we want to go into the daily time frame the daily time frame is the time frame that i trade and i always want to know what's happening on the month and the week Stacking the odds in our favor because when it's a volatile market, there's a higher probability that you're going to get faked out trading the squeeze. Wouldn't you agree with that? So if you guys notice, you know, you're constantly trading the squeeze right now and you're getting faked out. That's because, number one, it's a volatile market, but you're not stacking the odds in your favor as much as possible. So we know we're in a squeeze on the daily. So now what I can do is, again, I'm going to utilize... This indicator down here, bearish strong. So I know this is telling me we're in phase two. Sellers are in control. So sellers are in control on the day and the monthly and weekly traders are bearish. So that's a no buy situation because the bears are in control on the higher time frame. But right now on the daily, which is the time frame that I enter, the bulls are there. Okay, do you see how that can help us? So we're wanna align our strategy and our setup, which in this case is the squeeze with what's happening on the higher time frames. Isn't that awesome? All right, so another thing, here's a bonus tip. What you can do is you wanna go to the market. You wanna go to the market, it's the SPX. What we wanna do is we wanna do that same analysis on the market. Why? 70 to 80% of the stocks follow the broad 
market. So if we can align what we're doing with the market and we do exactly what I just said on the individual socks, do you see how that can give you an advantage? So right here, we go to the month, look at the month, and we say, oh, on the month, buyers are in control. Okay. On the week, uh, buyers are in control on the week. On the daily, we're bearish weakening. So if a lot of you are getting stopped out right now trading the squeeze, this is why. Figure out what you have permission to trade, who's in control, and then on the stocks that you trade on your watch list, go look for those squeeze setups that meet all the criteria that I said and match the market. Now, if you're interested in joining our private members area, we just launched that. Inside that members area, we have a lot of perks. I post videos that I don't post on this channel for anybody else private live streams, live coaching classes. We go over indicators. Also, I have a Q&A group where I give alerts and that we have a specific trading room for crypto, day trading the futures, and option swing trading. If that interests you, check down below in the description to join our private members area.